Hey guys, it's Kimberly and today's video is going to be so much fun because it is my favorite time of the year and we are talking about Christmas gifts. I love Christmas and yes, I am titling this Christmas gifts and I'm saying Christmas gifts, but of course this is not limited to only Christmas. This could be for Hanukkah, this could be for a birthday, this could be for yourself, this could be for anything. I just want to share some of my favorite products that I think would make amazing gifts for a makeup lover in your life. And yeah, I just want to talk about it. Now, before I start showing you guys some products, let's talk about the obvious. I got my hair cut. I like chopped it all off. Oh my gosh, I don't know what the back of it looks like right now, but what? Isn't that crazy? So I, um, yeah, I just, I wanted to change, um, and I was going to change the color of my hair, but the blue will not get out of my hair. Um, the, literally, we've tried so many things. If you don't know, I'm a hairdresser, and, um, so yeah, at my job, we went through so many different things to try and get the blue out of my hair, and it won't leave. So, I still felt like I wanted to change. So I decided to cut off all my hair and I am loving it. I love it so much. I feel like so free. I don't know. There's just something about having short hair. And yeah, I Liam literally has not seen it yet. He's gonna see it today when I post this video. Well, hopefully he will see it in person and not the video, but I'm surprising him with my short hair and I hope he likes it. We have never, I've cut my hair short before in the past and I've had my hair actually shorter than this, but that was when I was in middle school and I didn't even know Liam at the time. So he's never seen me with this short of hair. So I'm like very excited and like, yeah. So anyway, just thought I'd get that out of the way. And uh, yeah, let's get into these holiday gift ideas. So I have two items that are not makeup related, um, still beauty related, but not necessarily makeup. So I'm just gonna get those out of the way first. First of all, this self tanner. Oh my gosh, this is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express Advanced One Hour Tan. And oh my gosh, I love this stuff. It's a mousse, you like pump it out, and it is like amazing. I have used it, and obviously, I wouldn't be recommending it if I haven't used it, but um, I only left it on. It says you can leave it on from anywhere from one hour to three hours, and one hour you will get a light tan, two hours a medium, three hours a dark tan. You know, that kind of a jive. And I only left it on for an hour when I've used it because I just don't have like a ton of time. And honestly, I felt like I was pretty like dark, not dark like crazy, but it definitely wasn't just like a light wash of color. Like I look tan. So um, I really want to be able to leave it on for three hours. I want to try and plan it out so I can leave it on for the full time because I can't even imagine how dark I'm going to be. I'm going to be like middle of sum summer bronzed goddess. But yeah, I thought that this stuff was so awesome. I got it when it was on sale at Ulta because it is fairly expensive. It's like, I don't know, like $44 or something like that. But I feel like it would make a great great gift because even though it's expensive it will take you a little while to go through a whole bottle of this stuff so yeah I love this self tanner that one and I didn't mention it because I haven't been using it recently but I love the loving tan self tanner as well so yeah and next I have this Revlon like blow drying brush I absolutely love it a bunch of brands make them now um, some more expensive brands, but I don't think you need the more expensive one. The Revlon one, perfect. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. As a hairdresser, I am like over it when I'm at home. I don't wanna be like messing around like that and doing my hair like, I just don't. You guys have seen that I have wear my hair curly in most of my videos because it's just it's just overwhelming. And this makes it so much faster and so much easier. And especially now that my hair is short, I'm gonna be wearing it straight a lot more so very into this it's so quick it's so easy and my sister she also has one of these and she is not really somebody who does a whole lot to her hair she'll straighten it but like she doesn't really 
work a curling iron. She doesn't really do all of that funkiness. She definitely would not be blow drying her hair with a round brush and a blow dryer. And she loves this thing and thinks it works great. So I highly recommend this to anybody in your life who's not super savvy with a blow dryer, but wishes they could get that look because this, this will do it for them. Okay, so now that we have moved on from that, let's get into all the makeup goodies. I'm gonna try and go like in the order of the way I'd be, apply them to my face, but we'll see how good I can do with that. First things first, I have two items that shout out to my friend Callie. I know I mentioned in a video that there were two products that my friend Callie had recommended to me and I was liking them, but I didn't want to jinx it. Well, I'm recommending them to you right now. We have the Mario Badescu Skincare um, Anti-Acne Serum. And I have been using this on my mask knee because mask knee is a real thing. And if you are in a state where you are wearing your mask to work or for long periods of time or whatever, it is a real thing. And this stuff is insane. It's like a little serum. So, you know, this looks like a little bottle, but it's going to last you a very long time. You just like squeeze out a drop and put it on any of your acne. It's like a little spot treatment and it works wonders. I mean, I have to still wear my mask every day, so it's like fighting a losing battle, but I will say um, it is not 100% gone because I'm always wearing my mask, but it is so much better than it was before, like unbelievably better. So I recommend this stuff. If you know somebody who is has some acne problems, if they're wearing their mask long, long times a day and you think someone would appreciate this, I know that's kind of a weird gift to give to people or if you just need it for yourself. Um, but if you think there's someone who would really appreciate this, fantastic. And also, my friend Callie recommended to me this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. This is from Ulta, and so was, I got this at Ulta as well. But Mario Badescu, is, I know, is a little easier to find, but this, specifically, I got at Ulta. Um, it is, like, very, like, serum textured. Here, I'll pump a little on the back of my hand. You can see it's, like, super runny, and it just is amazing. I put this on my skin ever since I got it. I've been doing it like it's so like thin. It feels great. I've been putting it on my skin every single time I do my makeup before I do my makeup. And honestly, not even putting primer on, just putting that on. And if you have dry skin, phenomenal. It really does give your skin like a glass-like appearance and gives it a lot of moisture. And I just absolutely love it. So if you have dry skin or you know somebody who loves makeup and has dry skin, this, fantastic. I use it as my primer. Love it. So I'm not going to show you guys any like foundations or concealers or not going to go into it too deep because I feel like that's a very difficult gift to give to somebody because you would have to know their exact shade, which I think is kind of complicating things. But if you are looking for that, you know somebody's exact shade. Um, I really, really recommend the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundations and the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream and the one with skincare infused the brand new one love those and for concealers i really like the boing cakeless concealer i really like tarte shape tape so that's kind of my vibe for that but i'm not going to go too deep into it because i feel like that's not really that easy of a gift to give so there's that also for foundation though this sponge okay if you know somebody who's a big sponge person and they're on beauty blenders get them this this is the real techniques Beauty sponge, I'm sure most people know about it, but it feels to me just like a beauty blender. It works just as great, it's amazing, and it is literally like less than half the price. I love these Real Techniques sponges. So yeah, that is a great gift, and they're so affordable, it's a great stocking stuffer. Next I have a, um, hmm, let's just go with powders. I have two powders to show you that have been my absolute ride or die favorite powders. That is the One Size Beauty Powder. I just did a video about this. If you want to see more details about this, you can go check it out. But there are two shades. I have the translucent, which is for like light to medium. And then there's one with some pigment in it for darker skin tones. But oh my gosh, it's a phenomenal powder. If someone, um, I mean, I have dry skin and I like it, but I definitely feel like this would also work great for oily skin. Awesome, awesome powder. And then I also have the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, which I feel like is a staple. Everybody loves this powder. So it is just gorgeous. This is more of like a more satin natural finish. This one is not dry like the Sahara Desert, but it is mattifying for sure. So these are two great powders. 
and I would be super happy if someone got one for me for Christmas, so there's that. Let's move on to some bronzers. I have three bronzers to show you guys. First is a cream bronzer, and I believe I got this in my Ipsy bag. I do Ipsy bag unboxings. If you want to go check it out, go check it out. But this is the Yensa, which is a brand I've never heard of before. But it's Yensa, and this is the um, Sunlit Glow Silk Bronzing Base. And it came in a little duo with this brush. I love the brush. I've been using it. And it is just a big old pot of cream bronzer. And I've been using this every single time I do my makeup since I've gotten it. It is my favorite cream contour bronzing product that I've ever tried thus far. The ones in the sticks I feel like are very hard to blend out. They give harsh lines and they're just a little difficult. And I feel like if someone in your life either really likes cream contouring or bronzing or they're thinking about getting into it but they're nervous, this is such a great beginner way to get into it because you apply it with a brush so you really have a lot of control on how much product you want to put down and how to blend it out. Really, really recommend this. I love it. I feel like the color is great. The blendability is amazing. I love it so much. It doesn't break my makeup apart. Love it. And then my next two bronzers, I have NARS Laguna, which is just, I mean, again, it's like a staple of the beauty community. If you don't have this, you need this. I mean, it's not something a lot of people talk about too much, but it is definitely like one of those products that was super, super popular back in the day. And even though people don't talk about it, I don't think anybody would say, oh, Laguna, eh. Like everybody still, I feel like really enjoys it. And it is a good, reliable bronzer. Love it. I'm wearing that today on top of my cream bronzer. So I've got both going on. And then recently my absolute favorite powder bronzer is this bronzer from Aesthetica and it is the Sunset Bronzer. And again, I got this in an Ipsy, but oh my gosh, I just love it. It feels like it's really light in the pan, but it is not too light. It is perfect. It definitely gives a lot of depth to, to the cheeks and it blends so nice. It is not patchy at all. It just like blends out like a dream. It is beautiful. I absolutely love this Aesthetica bronzer. So good. Now we can go into some blushes that I recommend as gifts. Um, we have a high-end and a drugstore product for you. My high-end blush for you guys is a NARS blush. Again, this is Orgasm, which again is just like a cult favorite. Everybody loves Orgasm. If you don't have it, you need it. And if you're a makeup person, you definitely at least know about it. Everybody knows about this blush. It is so gorgeous and just gives a beautiful like sheen to the cheeks. It's not like highlight crazy, but it is very like healthy glow kind of a blush. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And then my drugstore blush is actually what I'm wearing today. I absolutely love this blush. It is a Milani blush in the shade Luminoso, which I bet everybody who is a makeup lover knows about this blush as well but if you don't have it you need it and yeah it is so pretty it is a baked blush again it has a little bit of a sheen to it but it's not like highlight or crazy it's just like a very healthy glow it's so beautiful i feel like it's just i don't know i feel like it gives like wedding vibes <laughs> and for a drugstore product that's like amazing it makes your skin look so pretty and again i love the idea of makeup drugstore makeup um at christmas time because i feel like they're great stocking stuffers because makeup is expensive and you know paying 30 dollars for this and wrapping it and putting it underneath the tree like 30 dollars is like a good amount of money to spend on somebody you know as a gift and a, like to wrap this i mean i could like hide it in my hand it is so small so i feel like sometimes it's hard to give makeup as a gift um Unless you give a palette, but like things like this, like sometimes you just feel like, was that enough? Even though you spent a lot of money on it. But for things like drugstore, you can get a little bit more, wrap a little bit more. And there is good drugstore products out there. And I also feel like this is small enough to go on a stocking stuffer, but a $30 stocking stuffer is a lot. I mean, I know there's people out there who do that, but personally, I get my stocking stuffers from like the Dollar Tree <laughs> or like you know I'll put candy in them from like ShopRite so a drugstore product like this is much more affordable for me to throw into a stocking so I love that and these are both gorgeous products and then I have one highlighter to show you guys this is a drugstore product so again it could be great for the stocking or just as a regular gift 
because these drugstore products I didn't just throw drugstore products in here to be stocking stuffers. These are standalone gifts. I mean, these are quality products. These are all of like my absolute favorite go-to products that if somebody wrapped them and put them underneath the tree for me, I would be ecstatic to open. So that's what I really wanted to give you guys was some just like products that were just, just felt good to have, you know? So this is the Hello Halo Blush Lighter Duo from Wet n Wild. I think any of these would be gorgeous, but the shade that I have is the After Sex Glow one, and it is so pretty. I just got this from CVS, but oh my gosh, this highlighter shade is like literally stunning. Do you see that? And there's so much like bang for your buck with this since it is, I mean, Wet n Wild is like just about as cheap as it gets. I mean, it's not Essence and Elf and stuff, but Wet n Wild, pretty cheap for makeup and it's good stuff this highlighter like i said gorgeous look at that so very into that okay so now we're gonna move on to some palettes which i feel like are the more exciting things for christmas gifts i mean i don't know about you i love makeup in general but getting a palette just like makes my heart sing i love fun colors and just looking at all the different palettes and feeling them and it just makes me so happy so i picked out a good little stack of palettes to show you guys First up, we have a ColourPop palette, and this is the main squeeze palette, but honestly, any of these little color-themed ones are amazing. I just personally really, really love this main squeeze one that is like pinks and reds. I feel like it's gorgeous, but they have tons of different palettes, and ColourPop is a very affordable brand, so if you're not looking to break the bank, I think ColourPop is a great formula for an affordable price. So those would be great Christmas gifts. Next up, I have two palettes from the company Glam Light. I love, love, love all of the Glam Light palettes that I have, and I have a lot of them, <laughs> but they are an amazing company. The owner, she's an amazing woman. You should just go check it out, it's great. And they are not the most expensive palettes out there. They're not the cheapest either. They're like right middle of the road, which is perfect for a gift if you're, again, not looking to break the bank, but you wanna give them something, you know, of like a little bit more substantial. Um, I have the Glamlight Street Taco palette right here. I did a video on this palette. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. It is so fun, the shape of it. And it is a smaller palette, so this is one of her, you know, a little bit cheaper than the other palette I'm about to show you, but it is just so fun. If you know somebody who likes color, I think this is perfect. You got a little purple, a little green, you've got like the corally pinky orange shades, but then you also do have a few neutral colors in there, so you can really do a lot with this small, small palette here. And the quality of the shadows are amazing. The pigmentation is literally incredible. These, this bright green, I mean, how you see in the palette is how it shows up on your eyes. It's incredible, the formula. So I definitely think that these Glam Light palettes, phenomenal gifts. And this one's a cute little one right there. And also the themes of her palettes are so cute. So if you have a makeup lover in your life who's also like a lover of tacos, I mean, could you resist? It's so cute. And her next palette, I picked a bigger one of her palettes that I'm absolutely in love with. And this is the Ice Cream Dream palette. Look at how cute the sprinkles shake around like that. And as you can see, it's a much bigger palette and it has all of these colors. It's rainbow, but it's different than your classic rainbow. It is more of a pastel rainbow. But let me tell you, these shadows pack full punches. They are not like dusty see-through like any other pastel shadow. They are lighter in tone, but they are intense when you put them on your eyes. And that is amazing in my opinion. I absolutely love like everything about this palette. Let me give you a little taste. This green tea shadow right here, that is a matte shadow. Have you ever seen anything like that? It is so bright and vibrant and just incredible. And here is one of the shimmer shades that is like a lilac-y color. It is just absolutely gorgeous. And another one of my favorites is this neutral shimmer shade right here called Cookie Dough. Look at how reflective that is. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I feel like you can do a lot with this palette. So that's a fantastic gift for Christmas. I love it. And again, I know that's like, this might be like vain to think about, but that's whatever. I like to wrap and have 
bigger gifts under the tree. I feel like it just makes it more exciting for the other person. I'll even wrap little things in big boxes just because I feel like it's, I don't know, it's fun that way. And this is definitely a bigger profile for a palette. So you could wrap this just like this and not have to put it in a box and it looks substantial. You know what I mean? I feel like people would see this wrapped up and be like, ooh, what is it? So exciting. So yeah, I know that that's probably like weird and probably nobody cares about that, but like, come on, tell me you wouldn't see something this size wrapped in the tree and something this size wrapped in the tree and you'd be like, ooh, let me unwrap this one. <laughs> so, you know, maybe I'm crazy like that, but love that palette. Now, the next palette I have here, I recently just reviewed it on my channel, so you can go check it out. But this is the brand new Huda Beauty Naughty Nude Palette, and oh my gosh, phenomenal. This is the first Huda Beauty Palette I've tried, and I am in love. I mean it in love with the formula of this palette. I know a lot of people had an issue with this one shade in the corner, but forget about that one shade in the corner. Not important. The rest of these shades are beautiful. I think the tones are so gorgeous and I feel like there's something that a lot of people can work with. You know, people um, who maybe don't love color as much, but like a little something. Gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And it's the Naughty Nude. It's a Christmas collection, you know, like Naughty or Nice. Super adorable. So I feel like it makes a great Christmas gift as well because it's very like in the spirit, but it is also incredible makeup. So there is that one. And then I have, again, a little bit more of an affordable brand. This is a Morphe palette that I have for you guys. And this is the Maddie Ziegler palette from Morphe. I know it's a collaboration palette and not everybody might be into Maddie Ziegler, but honestly, I don't think that it even matters. This palette is phenomenal, whether you know her or not. This palette is seriously top quality from Morphe. You open it up, it has a mirror, which not all Morphe palettes do. So that's an added plus. But look at how pretty this is. You have the top two rows, which are super neutral and like every day. And then you have the bottom two rows, which are a little bit deeper, sultry, and fun pops of color, which I think is amazing. This palette really does offer a very wide variety of shadows. And you can do a lot of different looks with this. You can keep it really light and airy. Um, like the Naughty Nude palette is very neutral. It's very like warm neutral, but they're all kind of dark and it leans very much more like sultry smoky. This has dark sultry smoky, but it also has very, very light colors. So you can really go anywhere on the spectrum with this. And I just think it's a fantastic palette. And yeah, I just get excited when I look at this palette. I feel like the color story just makes me feel creative and inspired. And I feel like that makes a great gift. So yeah, I love this palette. And yeah, this is the Amadi Ziegler, the Imagination palette from Morphe. So really, really great present. And then I have two other palettes that seriously like just make, they give me heart palpitations. I love these next two palettes and they're just fantastic. My first one is the One Size Beauty. I love One Size Beauty. The brand is fantastic. Um, and I'm not even saying that because, if, well, if you don't know, One Size Beauty is Patrick Starr's beauty business whatever, what do you call it, makeup company. Um, and Patrick Starr is a YouTuber here. But I don't even say that because I'm a fan of Patrick Starr and I'm biased and I'm this and that. Honestly, I don't think I watched a single Patrick Starr video until he launched this brand. And I still don't really watch a lot of them. I'll watch a couple of them here and there, but I'm not like a Patrick Starr video watcher. I think he's great. I love his personality, but for whatever reason, he's just not one of the people that I really got into. But Oh my gosh, he makes phenomenal makeup. Everything that he has sold so far, I have been really truly impressed with and have loved. So yeah, this is his palette. This is the Patrick Star Visionary Eyeshadow Palette from a one size. And it is just like, first of all, super cute. This like metallic pink color. And then you open it up, you get a nice big mirror. And then those are all the colors right there. Very neutral, but you have cool tones, you have warm tones, you have like an olive green, you have just a really variety. You have a nice matte black in there. You've just got tons of really beautiful, beautiful shades, a camel shade, just things where you can make really simple everyday kind of makeup. So if you have a everyday makeup kind of lover, someone who doesn't really jump out of the box that much, this is fantastic because it does have a pop of blue. It has some fun things, but they're very muted and they're very like much so basics, but the quality 
of these eyeshadows is literally insane. I love, love, love working with these shadows. I feel like they blend out gorgeous, like so buttery, so smooth. And they're just seriously amazing. These are some of, in my opinion, the best of the best eyeshadows that I've worked with. So I love this palette. And honestly, if I saw anything from One Size Beauty under my tree, I'd be happy. And last but not least for the palette category, I have a palette that I maybe should or shouldn't have put into this video, but I got, went ahead and did it anyway. Um, this is a Jeffree Star palette and this is the Thirsty palette. This palette, I have a hard time. I love the Jeffree Star makeup. I think the quality of his makeup is fantastic. I have reviewed tons of it. I've done tons of Jeffree Star videos on my channel. And honestly, anything Jeffree Star makeup, I would be happy to receive under my tree because honestly, the quality is really, really good. But I have a hard time picking my favorite palette because they're all really good. I like them all but I think this might be it. This is the Thirsty palette and it was actually discontinued. So I know, discontinued, oh no, the horror. But he just announced today that it is coming back for Black Friday and this video is going to be out prior to that. I believe, so it's Monday when I'm posting this and I believe his sales are starting on Wednesday, but um, yeah, for like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or something like that, he's bringing this palette back. So if you do not have this palette or you have a makeup lover in your life that doesn't have this palette, I think they really need it. I, I, I'm like being a crazy person and like in my mind knowing that it's discontinued, I'm like, do I need a second one? And that's crazy because I haven't hit pan, but that's how much I love this palette. It's so, so good. And I rarely ever want to use it on my channel because it's discontinued. So I feel bad, but oh, as I just, rub my finger in it but this palette just speaks to me it's so good these two shades right here taste buds and bitch those are such good shadows the corals just make your eyes pop they're so pretty so blendable very neutral and then you've got these fun little pops of color but this middle row is like where it's at they are unlike any other shadows that Jeffree has. They are completely different texture. I don't know why he hasn't made any more shadows that are like this. I literally don't understand it because they are my favorite shadows ever. I'm gonna give you a little swatch of this shade right here called Snatched. It is like just, it's just incredible. Like it is the most foiled, amazing shadow. I feel like the camera's not even doing it justice, but it is just so like, sparkly and like wow it is oh, they're just so amazing and i don't think you're going to be able to see on camera but these two shades right here especially um which is plunge and snatched they're like very indented and i'm worried about hitting pan because i literally do not have a single shadow that feels or performs like those two shadows and i like worry about it <laughs> because it's so good so if you have someone in your life who you think this color story would scream to them, then you need to pick it up seriously this week because it is discontinued and it is only coming back for a limited amount of time. So I felt like I had to throw it in here because it is that good and I want people to be able to get it if you haven't had the chance to get it. Something else I just wanted to mention that I don't have here sitting in front of me right now is I really love Morphe brushes. Those are the brushes that I use pretty much always i have some other brushes mixed in there but the majority of my brushes are morphe brushes and any type of morphe brush like kit or you know any morphe brushes in general i feel like would make great great gifts if you know somebody who needs some more brushes i have had some of my morphe brushes for i don't even know how long like going on like three or four years and I have not had an issue with any of them. They've been so good, so high quality. Every time I brush them, they held up great. So yeah, I really love the Morphe brushes and if you feel like someone needs brushes in your life, any combination of the brushes can't go wrong. So I also have some like liquid glitter kind of situations, almost like the Stila glittering glows, which I think are also gorgeous. So go for that too. But I love these from One Size Beauty. I'm telling you guys, One Size Beauty is where it's at. These are, I have Everything and More and Pea House. I specifically love Everything and More, I think a little bit more, but Pea House is also gorgeous. These are just like liquid shadows that are like very shimmery and glittery. 
give you a little swatch. I mean, what? Look at that. It's just so pretty and they're very comfortable on the eyes and they dry down like just gorgeous and I love them so, so much. So yeah, those are just like cute little eye toppers. And if you know somebody who likes a really metallic foiled glittery kind of a lid situation, gorgeous. And if you know somebody who needs a liner or if you know somebody, I feel like there are people um, who, well, obviously there are people, there are people who do everything, but I feel like there's a lot of people who wear not a lot of like makeup or, you know, they'll wear foundation or just whatever, but not a whole lot of eyeshadow and they're just kind of like liner girls who just wear like liner and mascara, um, winged liner and mascara, that kind of a thing. And if you know somebody like that, who's like their primary makeup is their liner, this is my favorite freaking liquid liner I've ever tried. And guess who it's by? One Size Beauty. Seriously, check it out. Check it out if you haven't. This is amazing. This is their Point Made Bodacious Black 24 Hour Liquid Eyeliner Pen. And it is gorgeous. I mean, don't even need to look at what I'm doing because it comes out jet black and solid every single time. It's amazing and I feel like I can get a really, really fine line or I can get a really, really thick line. It's super easy for me to use and I do not like liquid liner. Well, I didn't really like liquid liner a whole lot before, but this makes it so easy. I'm in love. And it is like jet black. Now, after liner, we're moving on to mascara. I have a drugstore mascara and a high-end mascara. My drugstore mascara for you guys is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. I love this mascara. I feel like for the most part, drugstore mascara is kind of where it's at. I feel like a lot of mascaras that are high-end just aren't honestly that worth it. They have great mascaras at the drugstore. This is one of them. Also, um, L'Oreal Volume uh, Lash Paradise luminous slash paradise or something like that that one is also fantastic but i really love this one especially if you're gonna wear lashes because it's not like chunky dunky it's very like lengthening but it's like thin and it's very black so it doesn't get in the way if you're putting on lashes but it's just gorgeous and next is a oh my like very first true purchase of an expensive high-end mascara and this is the benefit bad gal bang mascara i've been obsessed i have it on my eyes now i've been using i haven't ooh, i haven't opened this full size one yet but i just bought it but i've been using a little like mini travel size one because i got it as a sample and i just absolutely love it and it's so pretty i mean the packaging is so cool and i'm not going to open this one up because i want it to stay good until i totally ran out of my other one but fantastic mascara I've been in love and then I have a couple of pairs of lashes now if you have literally watched any of my videos you know that I love the D star lashes they are literally so good they're so good and I recommend if you want lashes get D star lashes any pair any of them I love that I mean I haven't tried every single pair but I've tried a lot of them I have a ton of them and I've loved every single pair that I've bought in and I have just two to show you that are like my top faves that I picked out of the drawer I have Deborah super pretty and then I have Paige here which is a collaboration with Paige Corin here on YouTube so gorgeous gorgeous lashes but honestly any pair will do ya really pretty and you get a lot of wears out of them they're like $17.99 they're not bad considering some like lashes like I don't know Lily lashes or something you could pay $30 for a pair of lashes so these are not so bad and honestly I've worn them many many I can't even tell you how many times I've worn Deborah so many times and I'm still they're still going strong I haven't had to replace them you can reuse them as long as you're nice and gentle with them amazing and also if you're not great at lashes first of all I recommend that you get like brush on adhesive versus like squeezy tube. So much easier to brush it onto the band than to try and squeeze it out because then if you squeeze out too much, ugh, nightmare. But if you're not great at putting on your lashes, I recommend getting a pair of tweezers like this pair right here that are curved and big. These are got off of Amazon, just a little, and they're metal because at the drugstore they sell ones like this, but they're plastic. That's too bulky for me. I don't really like that. I like the metal ones. I got these on Amazon, but honestly, D Star Lashes sells these on their website as well. And honestly, I think they're probably like the exact same price as Amazon. They're not like overpriced or expensive or anything. So if you're picking up the lashes there, pick up one of these there too. But um, yeah, I just got mine off of Amazon and they are like 
a lifesaver because instead of trying to press it in with one little point on your tweezers your regular tweezers you have so much more surface area and room for you to like wiggle around and like get in there love it and if you're gonna get somebody lashes i think it'd be such a cute idea to get lashes a glue and the tweezers all in like a little pack as like a like a like a lash pack i don't know i feel like that would be super super adorable so yeah just an idea something to throw out there but um yeah i feel like these lifesaver and then I have two lip products to show you guys. I have two different lipsticks, just traditional lipsticks, because that's what I've been really into lately. And one is the Jeffree Star brand new Velvet Trap lipsticks. I have a video about these if you want to go check it out. But specifically in the shade Naked Body, I have been like all about this nude lip. I have two nude lips here. But honestly, I'm really, I mean, this is the shade I've been wearing a lot, but the formula is fantastic in both of these lipsticks so pick whatever color screams to you but this is gorgeous it is definitely a matte like finish kind of it's it's a matte finish but it's not like crazy super dry matte so love that and then i also have kylie jenner lipstick i really like them weirdly enough i'm like super into it and this is in the shade creme brulee which again i really like but if you are a darker skin tone, this is probably not it. It's probably way too light. I feel like this is just about as light as I can go with a nude lip before it like looks weird. So um, yeah, but these lipsticks smell incredible and they are super, super creamy. Definitely not a matte finish. Very like shiny, creamy look and they're super comfortable on the lips. So definitely recommend these lipsticks as well. And then as a setting spray, I have been absolutely obsessed with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm sure you already know, you've seen it, and like, who doesn't love it? It's just such a nice finish, such a nice like mist to the face, and I love it so, so much. And yeah, that's pretty much all of the makeup that I had for this little gift guide, but I do have one more item. I forgot, it's not a makeup item. She should have done it at the beginning, but oh well, you're getting it now. I have a new like fragrance. I've been looking for a new perfume, maybe a little bit. I don't know why. I just feel like I want one. And so I got a couple of those different like um like not necessarily roller ball balls, but the really long skinny ones that look like roller balls, but they have like a spray at the top. I think they call them like purse fragrance. I don't even know. But um I picked up this one right here and this is the YSL Black Opium. Oh my gosh, it is so, it is so nice. It's like very sweet, but it also smells very mature. It almost smells like, like I don't wanna say grandma, cause that's like wrong, but like, you know what I mean? Like it smells very like womanly and very, very sweet. So if you're into sweet scents, I don't know. I just have, I've really liked it and Liam likes it too. So, you know, that's what matters to me. But if you're looking for a perfume, I know scent is like super specific to every individual person, but if they're into the sweet kind of thing, I really, really like this one. So, yeah. Those are my gift ideas, guys. These are, I mean, it's basically just a favorites video. I tried to just pick out a bunch of items that like I feel like are really good solid quality items that I feel like would make great gifts and that I would be excited to unwrap under my tree so I hope this helped I hope this gave you guys a little bit of like I don't know insight into what I like but also just like a little bit of guidance for the holiday season or for yourself or for a birthday or just anything really anytime you want to give somebody some makeup i hope that this was a good video and if not i just hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and talking today and looking at some makeup so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye